Is it possible that the very soil we tread upon in America could be more steeped in prejudice in one place than another? The question might seem absurd, yet when we delve into the data and the lived experiences of countless individuals, a startling pattern begins to emerge. Today, we journey across America, from the Pacific Northwest to the Deep South, from the bustling metropolises to the quieter, more rural towns. We explore 20 cities where the shadows of racism loom larger than you might expect. We begin in Spokane, Washington, a city known for its natural beauty, yet marred by a history of racial tensions. Next, we travel to Las Vegas, Nevada, a city that sparkles with lights yet struggles with deep-seated racial disparities. Onward to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where the death of George Floyd sparked a global outcry against racial injustice. Then, we find ourselves in Boston, Massachusetts, a city steeped in history yet grappling with its racially charged past. Further down the list, we encounter cities like Indianapolis, Indiana, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Jacksonville, Florida. Each of these cities, in their own unique ways, wrestles with the specter of racism, manifesting in housing discrimination, educational disparities, and unjust policing. As we move into the top 10, we find cities such as Detroit, Michigan, Tulsa, Oklahoma, and St. Louis, Missouri. These cities are not just statistics on a list, but places where real people live, work, and experience the effects of racism on a daily basis. Finally, we arrive at the most racist city in America, Springfield, Missouri. This is not a title any city desires, and it is a stark reminder that even in the 21st century, the fight against racism is far from over. In retrospect, our journey through these 20 cities paints a sobering picture of America. It reminds us that racism is not a thing of the past, but a present reality that impacts the lives of millions. It underscores the need for systemic change, for continued dialogue, and for relentless pursuit of equality and justice. Yet, it also offers a glimmer of hope. For each city on this list, there are stories of resistance, of communities coming together to challenge racism and build a more equitable future. In conclusion, the fight against racism is not confined to these 20 cities. It is a national and indeed a global issue that requires our collective action. It is a call to acknowledge the deep-seated biases, to listen to the stories of those affected, and to commit to making a change, no matter how small. As we turn off the map of these 20 cities, remember that the journey towards racial equality is a long one, but every step taken is a step closer to a more inclusive and just society. The question is, are we brave enough to take those steps?